Hello, dear traders. I'm Maria Estrado, and this is the review of Crypto Analytics from FX.co. It's the 31st of July today, Monday. And in our today's review, we will discuss uh, the point of view of um, a famous uh, investor, Tim Draper, on uh, Bitcoin. And uh, of course, uh, it's a technical picture and uh, short term forecasts. And we will start with an article by Sebastian Seliger. <clears throat> and um, let's talk about uh, the point of view of Tim Draper on uh, Bitcoin. Uh, Tim Draper is a legend in the world of investing. He's a billionaire venture capitalist who has invested in companies such as Coinbase, Twitch, Tesla and Twitter. Um, Moreover, in 2014, he bought 30,000 Bitcoin from uh, the U.S. government uh, and uh, these uh, cryptocurrencies were confiscated uh, from the Darknet platform Silk Road and put up for auction. And uh, recently he gave an interview in which he explained why he believed in the success of Bitcoin. Uh, he mentioned, for example, uh, the beginnings of the Internet. During this period, the government thought about taxing the use of these new technologies. Some wanted to ban it altogether. Ordinary people were afraid uh, and were skeptical about using the web. And some were afraid to enter their credit card details there. And today... As we all know, the Internet is not banned or taxed uh, and uh, instead has become an important part of our daily lives. And Draper believes that uh, the same will happen with Bitcoin. Um, uh, he thinks that um, the, the cryptocurrency is simply better and safer uh, in terms of uh, technology than fiat currencies. And all the above mentioned will lead uh, to more people and countries uh, entering the crypto markets, which will translate into a price jump, which uh, in turn will result from a limited supply of Bitcoin. Please uh, leave your opinion in the comments, comments down below. Do you agree with uh, Tim Draper or not? And what's your point of view? And um, uh, now let's get to technical picture. Or let's have a look at the chart. Uh, so, uh, the information is of Friday. And the Bitcoin uh, has broken below the key short-term technical support located at the level of 29,623 and made a new local low at the level of 28,880. So far, the bulls are bouncing up from the lows, but in case of a breakout lower, the next target is uh, 28,446. The market still trades below the short-term trend line resistance and uh, the intraday technical resistance is seen at uh, 30,447 uh, but now the level uh, 29,623 will act as a technical resistance as well. The momentum is weak and negative which supports the short-term bearish outlook uh, for Bitcoin. And now let's observe another point of view on Bitcoin's technical picture in the article by Ralph Scheller, which was written on Saturday. So Bitcoin uh, American dollar pay is ranging in the short term, so we'll have to wait for fresh opportunities. At the time it was trading at 29,324 at the time of writing and seemed undecided. However, the bias is bearish in the short term. As you can see on the one hour chart, the rate dropped from the flag pattern and it has retested the broken uptrend line, but a downside continuation could be activated only after dropping below uh, 29,114. From the technical point of view, as long as it stays below the downtrend line, the crypto could extend its sell-off. 
So uh, Ralph's forecast is uh, the following coming back below the 29,114 point and making a new lower low activates a downside continuation. Okay, let's have a look at the charts of Bitcoin for the moment. It's the 31st of July and Bitcoin opened today at the point 29,268 and now it is trading at 29,392. Uh, well, the situation uh, hasn't uh, changed almost uh, since uh, Friday and Saturday. Bitcoin is still on the same levels and um, it is uh, still uh, a little above that very important uh, level 29,114 Ralph mentioned so we cannot expect some uh, severe downside uh, movement and uh, it is still also uh, below of the nearest uh, resistance level and above uh, nearest support levels it's still consolidating and uh, doesn't make any um, any significant movements and uh, well this is all for today we will see each other tomorrow in our next review don't forget to write your comments and questions down below and i see you next time